Are you ready to become unapologetically masculine as a man? Are you ready to love being a man? Are you ready to let go of the neediness and the attachment that plagues so many men when talking to beautiful women, when talking to attractive women? Are you ready to break that once and for all? Are you ready to charge up your testosterone and your free testosterone, the fuel that drives you as a man, that makes you able to get out of bed in the morning, ready to seize the day? Women feel this on you, by the way. Are you also ready to become proactively sexually confident as a man? This is huge when it comes to approaching women, meeting women, and talking to women. Are you ready to become socially free? Are you ready to go out and totally let go of what people think of you and stop worrying about how other people perceive you? Basically, what I'm saying here is, are you ready to let go of all the BS programs that have been holding you back for years? The ones that stop you from totally being yourself. You see, you're driven to be masculine, to be a man, to be powerful. That's what you were born to be. And modern society and the ego hold us back. So if you're ready to let that go, I'm going to give a talk right now about the four things you can do to break free of this paradigm. And at the end of that, I'm going to give you an offer. And if this is something you find interesting, you're going to have the opportunity to go much deeper with these concepts, these materials. So let's get started. When I was young, I was basically antisocial. I didn't like to leave the house much. I was really agoraphobic. I thought sex was wrong. I thought sex was bad too. And my mother basically kind of illustrated this to me. She always had bad relationships. She talked about how bad men were, how bad my dad was, how bad the guys she dated were, how they just wanted her for sex. And I got this idea that sex was a really bad thing. I actually didn't like being male. I started to judge myself for being a boy becoming a man. Because of this, as I got older, as I got attracted to women, I automatically felt guilty. I felt shameful. If I was attracted to a woman and I wanted to be intimate with her, even if I wanted to kiss her, I was basically bad inside. And I had to wait until a woman showed interest in me before I could give myself permission to show interest in her, which that didn't happen very often because I was so shy and so introverted. And even then I had to hold back. I had to be extra careful because if I did something wrong, I could offend her, I could upset her, I could lose her. Even though I wasn't happy with these women because they were chasing me, they were, the, they were like, they were basically the ones I got because I didn't pick, I didn't choose, I didn't go after the women I wanted, I settled. Uh, I still was afraid to lose them because I knew it would be a long time before I got another one. And that basically sucked, I hated that. So basically I got the message that sex was bad, being male was bad, and I think that's why I got into the work I got into. But on the other side, I was hormonally driven. I was a young man with hormones. I wanted sex. There was my animal nature that wanted to come out, but I was holding it back. And I put on this veneer of a nice guy. And you guys have all heard me talk about that before, right? And because of this, I was also terrified to approach women because think about it for a minute. If you approach women, yet you think sex is bad, you think being male is bad, how's that gonna affect your ability to approach? I mean, the implied message when I approach a woman or anybody approaches a woman and shows interest is that I might want to have sex with you. Or in my case, I was so needy that I definitely want to have sex with you. And the women could feel it. They could feel it coming off me that I felt shame and guilt over that desire. Well, if this is you, then I've got something for you. I'm going to go through four things that can actually radically change this area of your life that can have a huge impact on your life. So let's get into that right now. I've been teaching men in this area how to empower themselves to become the best versions of themselves for about 20 years. That's how I'm fundamentally different than dating coach. I am, I'm actually working on male self-esteem and male confidence. I'm empowering you to be the most confident, attractive, best version of yourself, to become magnetic in a sense, to become interesting, to become powerful, and to learn to attract women rather than chase them because basically chasing has never worked. It doesn't work. The presupposition to chasing or the idea behind chasing is that you're chasing something, it's gonna run away. And when you learn to become uber confident, like a real attractive man, let's say for example, you take a natural, a natural doesn't sit there and think, I hope a woman gets attracted to me. How do I win a woman overnight? That just seems weird, doesn't it? A natural just assumes women are gonna like them. When I started hanging out with naturals, I saw this all the time. They would say things like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that girl tonight. And I would see it happen over and over again. It was like they knew it. At first I would laugh, like you gotta be kidding because I was so bad with women, I didn't think it was possible. And then when I saw it happen over and over again, it shocked me. They weren't chasing the women, they expected these women to be attracted to them. Why wouldn't they be? I mean, basically you're a man, right? You're designed to attract women. I'm a man, I just didn't feel it inside. These guys felt it inside. 
So because of this, men need to learn a few core things to take the power back, to become the best versions of themselves, to learn to love being male again. And we're going to dive into that right now. Number one, you've got global beliefs. These are beliefs that affect every part of your life. And if those global beliefs aren't supporting your ability to change, to grow, to be the best version of yourself, we need to change those global beliefs. But before you can change them, you got to see them, you got to hear them, you got to feel them going on inside you. Let me go through some of my global beliefs so you can understand what I was going through. One was that I always had the feeling I was too old. Even at 30, I felt too old. I'm too old. Women won't want me. Um, women want uh, young guys. Uh, I didn't have enough. Uh, I didn't look good enough. Not just women, anything like in a job. I didn't look good enough. I was ugly. That was another global belief I had. There's not enough time. I got to do everything today because if I don't, um, I won't. I'll never get it done. I'll just quit and I'll give up. Life is a struggle. That was another big one. I never had enough money. That was another story. I was like, there's just not enough money. All this is going to cost so much money and I've got to invest in myself and I just don't have the money to do it because the money I have, I've got to save because there's never going to be enough. There's not going to be any more in the future. So therefore, I've got to save what I got. Beliefs like these really slow your growth down. They really make it hard to grow. Matter of fact, I had one global belief that really messed with me, which was that I change slowly, that it's really hard for me to change, that I have to struggle to change. That belief plagued me for years and it made it really hard for me to make the transition from one uh, type of man to another to actually really learn to love being male because I had to make it a struggle first. It had to be hard. That was the belief that was going on inside my head. Well, what you need to do to really change this is take a deep, honest, and this is the hard part for people, is to be really honest about the thoughts that are running in your head. If you settle down and feel your emotions, the emotions that are giving you anxiety about approaching women, the emotions that are giving you anxiety about doing that sales job or changing your life, the emotions that are coming up when you think about becoming a powerful man that loves himself, being attractive to a beautiful woman, and you get really honest with yourself and look at these emotions, you're going to start to hear thoughts and you, you need to start writing down those thoughts, getting clear about what those thoughts are. What you're going to notice is there's going to be a slew of thoughts that are similar and you're going to, you're going to start to see patterns and you're going to see these five thoughts are all very similar. And then these five are all very similar. Like I might have four or five thoughts around. There's not enough time. Oh, I will, I'll run out of time. I need to do it all today. Oh, if I don't get it all done today, I'm going to fail. And that all falls into one group. And if you keep writing down these thoughts, getting really honest with yourself about what you're feeling, you're going to start to see a pattern of global beliefs. You're going to get four or five that just stand out. The ones that are really running your life and making it hard to change. For a lot of you, you may have done a lot of work around dating like I did. You may have done a lot of work around confidence like I did, but it hasn't all really set in yet. I went through that. Nothing had really set in yet. And when I got in touch with my global beliefs and started to watch them operate, like one would light up and then when I exposed it too much, another would light up. When I exposed that one too much, another would light up. It would literally change. That's the ego's way of distracting you. Though there's not enough time, there's not enough time. Okay, I'm going to fix that belief. And the next thing you know, oh, no, no, wait, wait. This is, gonna, this is a real struggle. It's really hard. It's really difficult. And you forget about there's not enough time. And then it pops over to, oh, but I'm so ugly. And you start to watch these patterns go on. You're going to start to see that your mind is playing a game to keep you from actually seeing the global structure of your ego. When you can write all those down, see them and watch them and pay attention to them on a regular basis, they will start to collapse. The first week will be the hardest. Next week will be a little less hard. And in a month, you're going to see a huge difference in who you're being. So step one is to get in touch with those global beliefs, get in touch with them at a deep level. Take the time to be brutally honest with yourself about what you're feeling and what you're seeing. Don't make them right or wrong. Don't attack yourself for having them. Just write them down, get clear and put them into categories and start to watch them run. In about a month or so, you can start to release them, but give it time so you can watch the game play in your mind. Okay, that is step number one for changing this area of your life, learning to become a powerful, confident man that, that loves himself. Let's go to step number two now. 
Okay, so now you've got your global belief system straightened out. Now let's talk about what it is to be a powerful, grounded, masculine man. You see, the next thing that I want to talk about is that most men today don't feel good being male. I didn't feel good being male, but I was basically modeled that men were bad. My mother talked about it all the time. My father was bad. My stepfather was bad. Uh, men abused women. And I had this horrible shame around being male. And as you learn, and this is something that I had to really take a deep look at, learn to love being a man and learn to love all the things that go with being a man, because they're awesome. I'm going to be honest. When you start to make that transition, everything begins to change. I had a lot of shame with one of my earliest girlfriends too, because I was so feminized and such a nice guy that she actually accused me at one point of being gay. She thought I didn't really want her. And this caused a lot of shame in me and I didn't understand. I always thought I was being respectful and being nice. I didn't want to push the boundaries. And honestly, when you love being a man and you get in touch with your animal, your masculine animal, you become 10 times more attractive to women. Women don't like it when men are lecherous. What that really means is they've got these horny desires and they kind of want them, but there's a lot of shame and there's a lot of guilt. and There's a lot of creepiness in it. When you just own being a masculine man and you own your sexual desires as a man and you own having a cock and balls and you own all the things that men love to do and you start learning to step in attention, they get turned on. They love it. They love watching it and they love seeing it. So I'm going to invite you to take a deep look at your beliefs around masculinity. Is masculinity bad to you? Do you believe in this toxic masculinity BS? Because it is not true. Masculine men built this world, right? from the buildings to a lot of the modern conveniences we have today where men going out there stepping into tension and slaying life. And that's what we are good at. And we've always been good at that. And when you get back in touch with that and you start to turn up your masculinity, you'll be surprised at how much more turn on and passion will show up. The act of doing that will raise your testosterone levels, which will give you more passion, more drive, and more excitement, and actually make you better in bed and more attractive to women. Women can feel high testosterone on a man. It, it has almost like an aphrodisiac effect. Then when you get your free testosterone up, which is another part of it that goes with it, that's huge too. So not only do you need to take a look at your love of being a man, you also want to take a deep look at your testosterone levels. Because as you change your mindset, your testosterone levels will go up, but there's direct things you can do to change your testosterone levels. For example, the way you eat, getting rid of seed oils, cutting them way down, learning to lift heavy weights, cold plunges, hot saunas. There's all kinds of things you can do to raise those testosterone levels and get them up through the roof again, naturally to become the most powerful, bold version of yourself. Turn back on your passion, have a little bit of an animal, the animalistic edge that you need. Now, that was number two, is learning to really love being a man, getting that testosterone up. And there are other hormones involved in that too, that all of them support each other to really make you feel amazing and wonderful day to day. So if we look at these first two, they're huge. You get those global belief systems straight. You learn to love being a man. You all are already naturally becoming magnetic and attractive and powerful. And you get that testosterone up, that only adds to the element. Now, what I want to do at this point is I want to invite you into this idea of what I was going to talk about at the end. At the end, I'm going to make an offer. And this offer is going to be to be able to go deeper into this stuff, to really learn it at a much, much deeper level than I'm teaching here now. This is a quick overview. But if you want to learn this stuff and learn some tools you can use to transform your life quickly in these areas, then definitely stay tuned to the end because this is going to be something I'm going to do special for Thanksgiving, Black Friday, that's going to allow you to radically shift your life. This is going to be some of my core secret stuff that actually has made my life and so many clients' lives so much more passionate. So let's dive in. What's number three? Okay, number three is letting all women go. When you learn to let go of the attachment you have to women for your happiness, for your source of validation for your sense of personal love when you stop chasing women as a source of value because so many men do that today we we've lost our testosterone and to feel our sense of value as a man we need women to give us validation we we stare at them all day on instagram and on uh, TikTok, and we look at their bodies and we dream about having them thinking we can't have them thinking they have all the power. And when you start to learn to let women go and take your power back and stop giving your power to them, that makes a huge change in your, in your life. When you learn to start dating you and make you number one, this is a process that happens. You've got to learn that women don't hold all the power. Matter of fact, without you, women would be miserable. And when you start seeing this at a deep level, that you're part of the reason women dress up that way, whether they say it or not, the reason they dress sexy, they are craving male attention all the time. And when you begin to 
reverse the polarity, stop chasing them and create a space. You got to create a space too. stop chasing them and create a space for them to chase you. You'll be surprised at the difference that happens. Women really do want to be with men and want to chase men and want to have sex with men and they want to love men but you got to give them the space to do it. So many men aren't doing that. And so there's an art form to learning to stop, change all your belief systems around this idea that you need women to feel good about yourself. Matter of fact, I'm going to say this. This is very important. Men can be happier without women in their life for their whole life than women can be without men. I think that men going into a monastery, becoming a monk can actually still create a powerful sense of happiness and purpose through expressing our masculinity, through the creation of all kinds of projects, through through going out and being a man in the woods, the wilderness, and, and, and whatever we're doing, whatever our sense of purpose is. But women, they really need that male attention. They crave it. And we've got it all backwards right now. And when you see that, you're going to really see the power and the mystery you have as a man over women. If you don't believe this, go read romance novels, romance novels. And maybe that's, that's what should be your assignment for this section. Just read a few romance novels and notice there's always that core man that has that mystery and that power that doesn't give it away to women. And that's the one they crave. And it doesn't matter what he looks like. Now, let's go on to number four. Number four, what is the fourth quality here that you got to develop to really become magnetic, to become powerful, to become unapologetically masculine. And that is a social confidence. This, this idea that you need to go out and chase women socially, like literally go out and approach a million women and get their attention to be good enough is the crux of the pickup community. Everybody is teaching women, men to go out and approach, 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 to get women, to get numbers, to get sex. And that act of trying to get is actually destroying our self-esteem and our confidence. If we don't get, we feel terrible. If we get, we feel amazing. And we're going back and forth based on how we're getting validated by the woman in front of us. She slept with me. I feel amazing. When you stop doing that and you learn to approach all kinds of people, including beautiful women, not to get their validation, not to get sex, but to go free, to set yourself free so that you can have fun no matter how they respond to you. That's a specific formula to do that you actually begin to build your power and take your power back again. You start to go free of the need for them to validate you. Matter of fact, when they reject you, it's an opportunity to grow stronger and bigger. You see it differently. When they do validate you, you really enjoy it. When they don't validate you, you're like, eh, I don't care. And you can literally learn to do this. If you start doing an approach process, maybe you only do five approaches a day, but you don't do it just to beautiful women, you do it to everybody. And with each approach, you start learning a simple principle. In the next five approaches, I'm going to practice grounding this person out and staying in my own body and not giving my power to them. And then when I get good at that, maybe 5, 10, 15, I'm going to start working on opening my heart to somebody and letting them in, but not giving them my power. And there's a process for that. And then when I get good at that, I'm going to learn to play with tension and lead people and challenge them a little bit from my internal power, not giving my power to them. Now, I keep saying not giving my power to them. Why do I say that? Because so many men, when they approach, they give all their power to the other person needing a response. And in this process, we're going to teach you how to stop needing a response from the person in front of you. And if you can go out and do this on your own, that's great. When you can let go of the need for a response, but still take the actions in that direction, like you're fucking sexy, but at the same time, I don't need you to to agree with me. That's when you truly start to become powerful as a man. And when you can set a boundary, that's when you truly become powerful as a man. When you can reject, when you can walk away from and reject the hottest woman because she's treating you like shit or treating people like shit and you don't respect her and you have no qualms about it, I'm going to walk away. You know, you're just not, you're not for me. That's when you're starting to really understand the power of building social confidence and going free then you can truly start to be you in front of beautiful women. Who are you? I don't know if I like you yet. You're beautiful, sure. There's something about you, you're sexy. Now, I'm gonna decide by getting to know you a little bit if I like you. And if I like you, and of course you like me in return, we'll continue forward. If not, I'm not gonna waste your time and you're not gonna waste my time and I'm out of here. That's powerful when you start to build that frame. And by learning to approach from this place of, I am building my self-esteem from the approaches, that's when you really start to change your being. Now notice all four of these steps build your confidence. They build your confidence uh, on a global level, 
the global belief systems. They build your confidence on a masculine level, on a sexual level as a man, and then also on an approach level, learning to be socially confident, let go and go totally free. And then also on uh, the level of women in general, not needing their validation to be happy. And when you nail all four of those, you become pretty damn magnetic, actually, very attractive as a man. You can not only get out of your intellectual mind, you get free socially and you learn to express emotionally and you get into your turn on, you learn to ground because all that comes with it. The embodiment piece where you learn to relate to the world through this amazing masculine body you've been given and enjoy it in the process is what happens. So if this is the type of change you want in life, I'm going to make you that a special offer. I'm going to make that offer right now. Because if you're ready to let go of all the BS programming that's held you back and become who you were designed to be, that's who this program is for. Now imagine for a minute, men are designed to attract women, right? You were designed by nature to attract women. Women were designed to attract men. Men were designed to attract women. And as you get into your true animal nature as a man, animal nature, not out of control, in total control, but but in that animal and own it, you start to turn on that natural animal magnetism. Now imagine a natural for a minute, little thought experiment. Imagine a natural walking out going, I hope I attract a girl tonight. I hope I win a girl over. I got to find techniques to win a girl over. They don't do that. Why? Because they're in touch with that part of themselves that knows women like men and want to have sex with men, want to be in relationships with men. They know it at a core level. Like it seems weird to them when I talk to them the guys would think any other way. Like, I remember the first time I asked the natural, how do you attract to women? And he goes, you just talk to them. You're a man. They like men. It's really that simple in their mind, right? And the reason we don't get it, and the reason I didn't get it back then, is because of all the feeling, the imposter syndrome of being a man. Like feeling I wasn't really a man. I wasn't good enough. I wasn't solid enough. I didn't know how to hold my own frame. And everything we're talking about here comes down to you stepping into tension and holding your own frame and becoming the most powerful version of you. Not to get her, but to make you happy. Not to get her, but so that you become happy and lead a passionate life of purpose. When you do that, not only do you get the beautiful women in your life, you start to make more money, you become more successful. Um, everything changes, you get healthier actually. So if you're ready to make this big change, I've got a special offer for you. This is our Black Friday offer. Uh, we're gonna be going through all of these modules and more over Zoom classes, teaching you in depth how to change each of these areas of your life for a lifetime. And when you begin to change these areas, not only will your life change immediately and quickly, but it'll continue to change year after year after year that you do this. You will become happier, more powerful, more confident, healthier, because you will be learning to own you and your own masculinity. So if that's something you want, right now, as a Black Friday special, we're gonna offer this training. It's gonna be an online training at a radical discount, cheaper than, than any other time it's ever gonna be offered. I think that we're actually gonna offer it at a higher price in perpetuity later when we sell it as a recorded program. This is the only time you're going to get to be able to talk to me live, ask me questions live, go deep into the work live and really learn what it is to become this confident, powerful, sexual, masculine man that you want to be in person. So if you want to develop these abilities, you want to learn what it is to be this person, you want to learn to develop it for the rest of your life, then click on the link in this video. I encourage you now step into tension right away because the moment you click on the link, sign up for the program, you're in the tension. Your subconscious mind knows you are going to change. It feels it. And that begins the process. And you want to do that as soon as possible. And you don't want to miss out on the live training. And you don't want to have to pay more for it later. So if you're ready and you're ready to truly step into the best version of you, again, click on the link in this video. I encourage you to get started right away. Don't waste time, especially at the ridiculously low price we're offering that right now. So um, I can't wait to teach you in person. Remember only the confident really live. And that is truly true. What we're going to do is help you find the most confident version of you. So again, click on the link in this video. And again, remember only the confident really live. I'll see you at the program.